few weeks ago, when I was in Los Angeles, I drove down to San Diego to see my little cousin, about 10 years old, he's playing soccer, football. I went to see his game, I'm excited. So I walk in, I'm like, hey, what's the score? And the coach jumps out. He's like, excuse me, sir, we don't keep score here. Over here, we have fun. I was like, I'm so sorry. Which team is having more fun? We've got him. Nimmer is here in the building. International comedian has made his way to Arizona. So nice to have you on Arizona. Thank you, Day. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun because you're Lebanese American yes. and you are known as the Lebanon's king of comedy. You have got yeah. the crown you are wearing. I have the crown, yeah. <laughs> I'm also the only stand up comedian, so it's easy. <laughs> it's easy to reign as the king, but yeah, yes. no, there's actually a few more comics right now that are popping up and shout out to all of them. Yes. That is so cool. Now we're in Phoenix. It's so challenging. I'm I'm imagining when mm -hmm. you're Lebanese American and you say because your culture has a huge influence on your comedic style that you want to be a comedian. And I saw oh, yeah. some skits that you talk about your dad and it was <laughs> not something that he was agreeing no, to. Oh, my yeah. my father. So if you're if you're uh, uh, if you have Arab parents, it's just mm -hmm. like having, you know, Jewish parents, Asian parents, they want you to be successful. Like a doctor. A doctor, an engineer, <laughs> anything. But when you tell him a comedian, my father was like, oh, so my son's going to be a clown. And yeah. that was pretty much his uh, <laughs> his understanding of the thing. So right. for him, a, sta a comedian who stands up is a, just a standing clown. That, that is pretty so much funny. It. So it took some years. Mm -hmm. And then when I made it on the uh, cover of Rolling Stone magazine in the Middle East, he- Oh, uh, he was so proud. Then he was telling everybody, he's like, this is my son, the comedian, you know? And he started taking credit, of course, for <laughs> everything. It, absolutely. Yeah. Your journey of hard work that you did, it your now dad is takes credit. His accomplishment, he's like, you know, I always, I always believed in this young yeah. man. I always told him to follow his dreams. and. I was like that for eight years. He didn't talk to me for eight, but no, it's good. Isn't it crazy? It is. So when people come out to see you, they're getting more than just a show because you really do bring people along for the ride. And yes. you do not just an hour. Sometimes you go more and people yeah. are like, this guy is giving it to us. Yesterday's so, show was an hour and 40 minutes. Isn't that insane? Look, as long as people are- On a Wednesday. Are, on a Wednesday. Yeah. You know, um, I'm very lonely. I had nowhere to be. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so an hour, because it's like, as long as people are laughing, mm -hmm. I just feel bizarre. And you've done stand up, I understand. To end it. When to they end want it, you to right? stay up there for more. You're just having yeah. a good time. Everybody's laughing to just be like, okay, you're enjoying yourselves. Okay, I'm that's my time. Yeah, and I'm done. I'll see so you So I just week. like, I yeah. enjoy being there. It's the dream. So for me, uh, if I can be there for an hour and 40, if I can be there for three hours, I will. Yeah. I don't know if anybody will stay. stay. <laughs> well, I'll... they might order some midnight appetizers by then. I'm down you know? with that, and it's on me if, that, if that happens, but yeah. Well, you're there tonight. You have one show tonight at House of Comedy, two shows Friday and Saturday, and you yeah. also have a show on Sunday. Yes. Now, I'm telling you, you pack the place on Wednesday night. Fridays yeah. and Saturdays are the night where people come out to see comedy, so you I might know. have people that are just waiting outside going, open, 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 right. you want to yeah. get in and see them. And, and I'm going to tell them I'm sorry. You know, you're going to have to enjoy the beautiful weather yeah. here in Phoenix, Arizona. I know. It's one, I do want to say, though, I was, I was so happy uh, to come in here because mm -hmm. it feels a lot like many countries I used to visit in the Middle East. Um, there's the scorched earth. Right. Uh, there's, uh, you know, there's uh, the, being on the precipice of death. Yeah, when you walk outside Arizona. of your car is always fun. This is true. So it's, it's fantastic. I, it's, what is it, 105 It's going to be 107. You'll probably be my shade by this Jesus. afternoon. It'll be good. It'll be good. <laughs> fantastic. I look forward to looking much better then. Thank you. Well, we got about a minute left, so I want people to know um, your comedic style because sometimes, you know, they hear the name and they're like, I don't know about this. But you're an international, so you've done to every audience. So yeah. if you can narrow it down to, like, exactly what it is. Well, it's basically... It's kind of hard to describe. My show is... First of all, it's pretty clean, mm -hmm. if that matters to people. Um, it's really a show with a purpose. Mm -hmm. My purpose is to make sure that everybody laughs. Mm -hmm. And I figure by getting as many different types of people into one room laughing yeah. together, that's how you make a difference. That's why my Showtime special that you just played a clip right. from, we filmed it in Los Angeles and Beirut and cut between the two shows nice. so that everybody, and, but nobody knew we were cutting. Mm -hmm. I wanted people to watch it and be like, this feels like one show, this feels like America, mm -hmm. so that later on they could realize that they were laughing at a show in two different continents. So it's pretty much the same thing in the mm -hmm. shows. Like you're gonna get people from all over the world in one room, all different ethnicities, laughing together. And I think that brings us a lot closer together. It does, and it's a lot of fun. So do not miss him. He's at the House of Comedy all weekend long till Sunday, and you're gonna have a really good time. It's so yes. nice to have you on the Pleasure show. Pleasure was Thanks mine. Thank you here. so much. Yeah. Thanks for having me.